Hey honey, how's it going? Oh, that's good, that's good. How's the trip, you know? Weather's good, everything's good out there. Yeah? How are the kids, you know? Oh, you know, everything's going well over here. Just got that, uh, you know, just doing the finishing touches on my project. You know how we've been doing it for so long, and I've been telling you it's been going on for ages. But guess what? It's almost done. So we're about to make it big time. You know, we can finally pay off the mortgage payments. We can finally be doing all this shit that we wanted to do. You know, we can finally buy all the things we needed, get shit for the kids, have school, you know, and their future already thought of. So we're already good to go. So, you know, all I gotta do is go pitch it to the boss, see what he says, and if the boss likes it, we're good to go. Alright? Alright, honey. No problem. Well, you have yourself a good time. I'm gonna go work on my track. And then, yeah, you know, we'll see how that goes from there. Alright? Bye, honey. sure we got this here unlocked. Let me call and see what he thinks. Hey bro. Yo, what's going on boss? What he said? Nothing man, I saw my way to work. Say so what bro? I, I hear you man, trying to make that paper, eh? I hear you. So what he saying today bro? What are you doing after work? Oh, nothing much man. I'm hoping uh, we could chill out. I, wanna, I, was, I was gonna call you. Bro, I gotta tell you, man, I got some track study, bro. You know I've been working on that big project for so long. Yeah, bro. yeah. You know, so I got that shit, bro. It's been three years in the making, bro. You know, so right now we got this. I think I got it unlocked, bro. So come by tonight, bro. We'll chill. You know, I'm gonna show you this new shit, bro. So you're gonna love it. And then after I go from there, let me know what you think. You know, what angle I should be playing it at. What, what do you think I should do? But yeah, bro. Just come by. We'll chill. Have a few drinks, bro. And we'll take it from there. Yeah, most death, man. Yeah, because uh, I'm probably going to finish work around 4. Yeah, how would you give me a call uh, after 4? Because I might be stuck in a meeting somewhere. Uh, just give me a call, all right? No problem, boss. I'll give you a call. Or, you know what, if I don't get, or if anything, bro, you can just text me and just let me know when you're done, bro, and then just come by. Oh, okay, all right, all right. That's how that works. That works. too, bro, so don't worry, bro. Whatever's clever, bro. Whatever's clever. All right, cool, yo. Working on some tracks, you know, just trying to get ready for the big night. What big night? You're not, you're not there anymore, man. We got more, bro. Hey, it's over night. for you. You ain't bringing me no money. What are you doing? It's over. I got better DJs from the streets coming to me with better material. What are you doing? 
Bro, this new shit's gonna be like, yo, it's gonna be off the hook, bro. It's gonna be bringing in a lot of people, bro. Hey, you know what? You've been saying that for the past three weeks. I'm over. I'm done with it. I know, I know, but if you give me one more chance, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Shit's gonna be flying off the streets, bro. Grab your material. I'm sorry. It's over. Bro, are you for real? I got better people. You're not pumping the club anymore. It's not good anymore. I'm bro. sorry. You gotta go. Alright? You serious, bro? This is not happening right now, bro. Look, I know, I know your whole, uh, your whole, your whole dream is this, but I, I, I don't care. I need money in my club. I need numbers adding up. You're not adding up any money. I saw last week, Friday, everybody left because the DJ wasn't playing good music. Do you know how that looks on myself? You're fired, man. I got another man coming in with some good stuff. What? Like, are you serious, bro? Like, yes, it? you're fired. Bye bye. Go, oh, okay. Fuck, man. I can't believe this, man. Holy shit, bro. What the hell just happened here, man? Did he really just fire me, bro? This is my life, bro. This is my. Everything I put into it, man. I gotta get a drink, bro. I can't deal with this right now, bro. I need a drink right now. Who got that drink right now, bro? What just happened? He's bro. This guy, like, what the hell was he thinking, man? I know I was doing my job, bro. I've been getting people in there. This guy, bro, look at the music he's playing right now, bro. We're about to go even crazier. And this fucking guy really thinks so, bro. Like, this guy, man, like, I need a shot right now.
I have to, man. When this fucking guy just decides to cut me off like that, bro, come on, bro. You know what I've been playing, bro. You know what I've been no, doing. I know, I know, I know you've been working hard, man. You bro, my life depends on it, man. My family, my kids, bro. They, they look at me like, bro, I'm bringing in the big bucks and all. I'm not bringing in nothing, bro. I have to lie to them, take loans from places, too. They don't know all that shit what I've been through, bro. What am I supposed to do? But don't worry about it, man. You just calm down, man. Bro, I can't calm down right now, bro. I feel like knocking this guy out of the face right now. He's telling him, bro, you just knocked down on the best thing that could possibly happen. Oh, right, right, man. You gotta calm down, man. Bro, fuck Don't take these right, actions, let's, man. Let's have cheers for us, bro. It's a good life, good health, and hopefully that guy just loses out on his business. Wow. I had the spot, bro. Oh, my bad, bro. We're good at it. Since I found out, bro, oh, I just got that bottle and just been pulling at it, bro. You know me, bro. I don't drink that much. No, I know, man. What am I supposed to do, bro? How do I fucking deal with this guy right now? I can't. I, I, I honestly, like, yo, check this out, bro. I'm gonna play you a quick little bit. I'm gonna load the volume here as well, too. But I'm gonna play a quick little bit. I had that, bro. I even got some trap music that I was gonna get and play too. I was gonna play it all, bro. But like, fuck, man. I don't know what to do right now, bro. Like, honestly, man, this is a you know what? Here's what I think, bro. I think we should just go right now. I call him up. I just go, like, yo. I just wanna talk to him, you know, tell him about my paychecks, my last little bit, cause I know he still owes me that. I know he still owes me that, and then when he's not expecting it, bro, just come at him right there. Fuck, I'm not coming to face, bro. What you saying, bro? No, man, you don't want charges on your record. Especially for that scumbag, what are you gonna, you gonna get out of him? You're just gonna hit the guy. And don't matter, bro, when I come out, I can still be doing this shit anyway, because I'm not gonna have a life anyway. I don't have one now, so what difference does it make? I broke anyways now, I got no money left. Right. Barely anything to support my family. So what difference would it make? Right, man, you gotta calm down, man. I was in this position before. Yes, I but still, man, before. you got no family right now, bro. You, I know you're getting the family soon, but, but still. I know you're stronger than this, and you will get through this. But, you know, right now, I think, oh, you know, shit, I'm, I'm sitting here, you know, Brian, you used to be the guy who used to tell me not to drink bro, on one days, and you know what you're doing. Bro, and you're the one who stops me from fighting, man. I think bro. you gotta calm down. This is not you. This is not you. Bro, but listen, man. It's not happening right no, now, man. No, you're not gonna go. I know when you say stuff. You're gonna go, but this time, man, I, I want you to see yeah. someone. I want you to see someone. You wanna, you're yeah. coming with me? Bro, Not right now. Fuck it no, up, bro. no, no, bro. Bro, bro. Give me this chair, bro. I'm gonna throw this down. What are you gonna do, man? You're gonna vandalize the whole property? Yeah, I'm doing shit, fuck, bro. Fuck, man, I'm calm down. You have a seat, man. We're gonna take you to this guy. Hey, his name is Ryan. Mm -hmm. you, know, you work at the. Local What's he do, bro? What's he do, bro? Tell people how to live their right. life, bro. He never lived that life, bro. He don't live no life, bro. He just tells people, gets paid to tell people what to do. Nah, nah, this guy is good. He actually listens to you. He's very empathetic. What do you do for you, bro? Well, what he do taught do me you, a lot bro? of stuff. He taught me a lot. So he taught me a lot about self acceptance. You know, he taught me a lot about you know uh, how to deal with stuff. You know, and the underlying problem, bro. What's I'm the underlying you problem, bro. man? You my boy. I understand you're trying to help me out. That's why I'ma listen to. You. You know what, maybe I'll, I'll consider going to see this guy, okay, bro. Man. But I'm gonna tell you right now, bro, if I don't like what he's gotta say, bro, I'm knocking him out in the face right now. I'm gonna make a call to him, and you're not, and you're not gonna knock him anywhere. I'm gonna make a call to him, and, and then I'm gonna meet him, okay, all right? All right, bro, give me all the information first, let me know, bro. Because if all not, right. bro, like I said, bro, I'm gonna knock all somebody right, in the face right, right now. Right now, I gotta go, but I'm gonna make that call. All right, I don't want you to hurt yourself, man. Go to sleep, man, it's late anyways, bro. All right, bro. Hey, right, buddy. Thanks a lot, boss. Have a good one, man. Thanks for the drink, back, bro. No problem, bro. Have a good one, bro. Right, I'm going to you off, bro. Peace. Yeah, bro. No worries, man. You get that information, bro. Because if I'm not happy with what I see, bro, no, I'm no, telling no. you. No. I'm telling you. I'm only doing this because I know you. No, bro. man, he's ready. I know you for 20 no, years, he's bro. He's ready good. He's ready good. All right, bro. No problem, boss. You got everything, bro. You had it. All right, bro. Don't worry, man. All right, man. Have a great one, Finn. Oh, this guy, let's see. No, he's gonna pick him now. Yeah, should be enough time. Right, come on, boss. Come on, bro. I need this. I need you to pick up the phone, bro. 
and knee jerk at this thought. cracking over here. Always gets the job done. expected. This is not what I expected, bro. It's not happening. Oh my goodness, man. What the hell am I gonna do, bro? <coughs> Fuck, man. Can't deal with this right now, bro. I really can't deal with this right now. This is definitely not what it's supposed to be like, bro. My liquor is almost out, too. I can't deal with this right now. Well, I think you should have seen call right now, but I don't even want to listen to Ben right now, bro. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, bro. Can't. I'll tell you later, bro. Right now, how am I going to pay my bills, bro? How am I going to do shit? This is not happening, bro. Really, this cannot be happening. Fuck, man. I've been working my ass off. I just can't believe it. Sorry, babe. 
Yeah, I need your car right now, bro. Fuck it. I'm gonna go for a smoke, man. This shit is bullshit. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. So out of it, bro. I'm really like I'm not into. I'm not even into anything anymore, bro. Like, you know, like, I just feel like I, I feel like a part of me just been lost, bro. Like I got a hole in my heart. You know, I feel like my whole life has just been taken away from me. I have nothing left to give, nothing left to do. I'm gonna lose my kids. I'm gonna lose my family, my wife. She's gonna leave me. I know that for a fact. I'm gonna lose my house. I got nothing going for me right now. I've just lost everything. In life. It's like basically like you, my heart just been shattered to so many pieces right now, bro. And like to me, honestly, the only thing I feel I can do right now, the best thing I, I think I can do right now is just to end it, bro, in a way where at least that way my my family. What do you mean you end know, it? What do you mean? What do you, bro? I'm thinking, you know, like I'm thinking if I how do I say this? You know, like because if I do it in a way where it seems like it's an accident or it wasn't like a suicide, bro, at least that would my my family they get uh, you know. At least the house will be covered, my kids will have an education, my wife will have at least, you know, she won't have to worry about nothing, you know, at least I'll be better off that way. No, I think, you're, I think you're thinking way too fast right now. Bro, at least it's better than them thinking about failure or no. I couldn't hack it. No, man, you've raised good kids, I've seen you, man, you're a good father, man. Man, you're a good DJ, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck him, fuck him, man. Bro, a good DJ? Look at that. I got fired, bro, from one of the biggest promoters in the business. Yeah, man. He was a fucking douchebag, too. He was a fucking douchebag. You deserve better, man. And you're going to get better. Bro, well, what if I don't and get better? That, that track man? you've been working on for a while, man. I see bro, I see some good stuff in there, man. I think you're fired as a man. DJ from a pretty big industry name like that. There's no chance. Of, it's, it's even harder for you to get another job. It's going to take me even longer, bro. But let's find some other avenues, man. Not this fucking shit. Not this fucking... Fucking shit. Well, you know what? I gotta tell you, bro. Send that, bro. Send that. Oh, bro. Send Yo. Right now, bro, that's my avenue, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because right now, I feel like, you know what? If it's not this, what else am I gonna do, bro? I got nothing going for me right now, bro. No, man. I think you have a lot, lot more going on for you. I've already talked to Dr. Randy Desi. And what did he say? What did that cracker jack say? First of all, he's not Cracker Jack. Second of all, he's a nice man. He helped me a lot, as I told you before. Yeah. He and he you. wants to meet you. Of I think he's, he's ready to meet you right now. That's why I came over. I was hoping you were here. You are here. So let's say, let's just say, you dress up and we go meet him. He's really good. He helped me out too. I was in the same position as you. Don, I'm gonna tell you right now. You know what? Let's just go as is anyways, because at the end of the day, bro, if he, if he can't take me for who I am right now and he can't deal with me, bro, then I know this guy ain't paying with him. No, that's fine. He's a very nice man. He's a Alright, we'll see, we'll see, bro. I know you've been bigging this guy up and you've been living about this guy, so, you know what? And you're my yeah. best friend. Yeah. So, I'm really I'll take happy. your advice. Yeah. I'll take your advice, bro, but, good, you know, man. I'm still you know, bro. This is worked out, bro. I'm telling you right now. That's it, bro. It's done. But let's right, go, bro. Let's, let's go. go. Right, well, let's go. Can't forget this. Whoa, whoa. I'm sorry for this. Brian's a little first mate. It's right okay. Now. I understand. We all go through problems. Sure, it's okay. So, so I'm sorry, Brian. Shit. Brian. Brian, it's okay. 
That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, it's okay. Yo, yo, I'm done. You don't need to be telling okay. this guy nothing wrong. He don't know me yet like that. Let this guy try to do his job for once. Okay, so oh. it's Brian. Brian. Yeah. Last name? Cook. C double O K E. Okay. And Brian, so what brings you into my office today? I don't know, you tell me. He, he I know Finn's brought you into the office. Yeah, he convinced me to come well, here, so well, I'm assuming he probably told you something because right now bro I'm here. No. So you tell me why should I be here right now? What what's the reason why I should be here? Apparently you're going through a crisis at the moment. Really? Yes. I don't think so, bro. I really don't. Uh what Finn here told me was is that you're going through a crisis, so he brought you in. Now I'm here to assess what type of crisis it is. Basically you're here to tell me how to do, how to run my life basically, <coughs> right? Because you couldn't handle your own life. That's why you're telling me to run my well, life. Well, Tim, uh, sorry. What I'm trying to do, Brian, is, is not tell you how to run your life, but show you a better way of going on with your life with the crisis that you're going through. So if you could tell me a little bit about what's going on in your life right now, what the situation is. Well, apparently he seems to think I have a crisis here just because for the fact that, yeah, I've been drinking a little bit more than usual, but still, apparently okay. he seems that's a crisis for me to come in here. So I'm here. So that's what it was, and that's basically it, bro. So you tell me now. Well, I know Finn better than that. Um, how about this? You come in, say, tomorrow around, hold on. I'm uh, free around 2 p.m. So you come in tomorrow at 2 p.m. We can figure out a solution to what's going on. Okay? I know you're in a bad mood today. I do not want to bring you down even more because you're in a bad state of mind right now. So how about you come in tomorrow with okay. Finn All right. or without Finn? Doesn't matter. I need well, to see you. Know what? I'll okay. bring Finn along too because you know Finn was the one that said this guy was gonna work, so Finn can be there to see if it works or not, you know? So okay. might as well. Sounds good. You go with that, Finn? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Alright. No, I'll call, I'll call you, man. Okay, All sounds right. good. Sounds good. Alright, later, Cracker Jack. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. You too, Cracker Jack. Yeah. Peace out, bitch. <laughs> Okay, Sam. Okay, Sam. How's it going? You're back. How's it going, Cracker Jack? Hey, Brian. Cook, how's it going? Uh, how's it going? Uh, it's okay, man. It's okay, Cracker Jack. Okay, I'll see. I'll see Brian. Finn. Yeah. Okay. What's up? So it's Brian Cook. Just pulling up your file. Okay. Right, yep. So Brian, I heard from Finn you're having a few, well, a problem, <laughs> a really big problem that we all would be terrified from. Like I do not want to lose my job. So I mean, I understand what you're going through. Right? Because right now I see but, you in a chair working and I'm not, so but I don't see how you can understand that. Because this happened there. to me before. This happened oh. to me before, so don't worry. But, but what I'm here to do, what I'm here to do is, is listen to what your problem is all about. How did this all happen? How did it start? Yeah. Well, Why basically I got everything taken away from me, bro, you know, it just... I feel like everything just got taken away from me. I can't okay. deal with it right now because my whole life has been just taken away from me. You know, how would you feel if you lost your job and everything was taken away from you? And now you can't afford to pay no bills, you can't afford to provide for your family. How would you feel? Yeah, no, I, feel pretty, I feel pretty bad about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, that's why you're the one working right now and I'm not, you know? You're there in that chair and I'm sitting here talking to you about my problems. Okay, Brian, okay. So how do you deal, how are you dealing with this right now? Um, uh, well, you know... Are you trying to apply for jobs or are you, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> mad for sure. Yeah, you haven't been applying, man. I, I just came there three days later, you know, after I got fired. You yeah. were smoking and drinking, man. Oh, okay. Well, well, I wasn't smoking that much, but was it really that bad? Bro? I was only drinking, man. I saw your place, man. Bro, what was it? Bro, it wasn't that much. I said, tell the truth, bro. Uh, honestly, bro, it's only been like a bottle a day, bro. It hasn't been that bad. That's a lot. That's a lot. Really? Yeah, it's a lot. It might not seem like that from your point of view, but it's a lot from our point of view. Sorry, guys. I have to go somewhere. If something urgent has to come up. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> that's been for you. Hey, right. you know what? This guy, this guy is a good guy. I've helped him before with this situation. Um, yeah, you told me about that. You told me so believe in me. Don't worry. Believe in me. Well, you know what? Don't I, worry. I believe in Finn. That Finn actually stated that this was going to be okay. But I can't believe in you right now, Mr. Cracker Jack. Because you just got it. Like I said, a Cracker Jack. You don't know shit from shit. I don't know if you know 
shit from one end to the other. You say you know how to help me out with a problem. That's why I'm here. So okay. let's just get at it and see see if you actually have some merit to what you can do. And if you're if I feel like you know you're doing a good job, then we'll go from there. Okay. So tell me more about what happened. I'm well, here. I'm here to listen. I told you, man, my boss, who's an asshole, decided yeah. that he didn't need me no more because he said I wasn't bringing in business to the club. And I don't know how you can't bring business to the club when, like, music is an art form, you know? You gotta, it takes time creating music. It takes time to play shit, bro. You know, it takes time to create stuff, you know? Rome wasn't built in a day. You know what I'm saying? Rome was never built in a day. It took some time. You gotta take time. Masterpieces, Leonardo da Vinci, he didn't make his thing in just overnight. It took some time to create a masterpiece. And now this guy wants to tell me that I'm not good enough to do this? No! I can't. I need this. I need to get my job and my act. I need to get this act, man. Because if I don't, how am I gonna pay my bills, bro? I haven't even told my wife nothing yet, man. Holy shit. Imagine that, bro. Imagine that right now, bro. It's been three days, bro. They're on vacation and they think all's good. And here I am here, literally they know I'm here talking to a freaking crisis into being a little piece of shit kind of guy okay, who thinks okay. he knows everything. So, so basically on. your current condition right now from my experience of hearing you, hearing all your problem is, is that you're, you're not looking for a solution to the problem. Instead, you find alcohol and I guess as Finn said, uh, smoking, uh, uh, solution to your problem. I I guess so. You know, like I I guess you know in a way I am using it to cope with my problems because you know what? Like it's for the moment that I'm drinking or I'm smoking, at least I feel like I'm. You know, I don't have to deal with life problems and I just get to be in my own world for a bit. Just get to think that everything's okay. You know, even though I know it's not, but for that moment in time, you're just in your own little world. Everything's just you forget about your old problems in life. How about? How about decreasing the amount of alcohol you take in in a day or the smoking and try to think of a solution with a stable mind? Well, I, don't, I haven't even got to that part to be honest because right now for me I'm still like, for me I just can't believe like this is all happening so to get to a solu solution... Of course, of course you cannot believe that. You cannot believe it but the thing is, is that your your uh, your actions are normal, but they're actually just temporary. Everybody goes through this. I've gone through it, as I said. So, what do you think you could do that would make you get over this quickly, minus the alcohol or the the smoking part? Well, I guess I could smoke less and then. I guess I could, you know. No, I'm saying, what if we were to take those two obstacles out of your life? Say, say, say if you, say if you were to go and find a job. I mean, I could, but. Would you want to do that right away, or do you prefer doing it later? Well, to be honest with you, I want my job back. Exactly, you want your job back. So what? I'm not saying you're not normal, but the thing is, is that. When you're going through a situation like that, you lost your job. I'm sure you have payments. You own a house. Yeah. Your children live in a house. Your wife. Yeah, of course. You own a house. Pay a mortgage. Yeah. Bills. Of course. of course, I got that. You guys have to eat. So, from my experience, looking at your experience of the problem, it's normal. You're you're doing fine. You know, you're 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 abusing alcohol a bit. From what I heard from Finn, from my from my own view of this, of how you're you're taking in a bottle a day, whatever, that's kind of abusing it, pushing it, because yeah, you 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 sort of are abusing it. So what you could try doing is, if you need that job so bad, why don't you try going out and finding an, another job that relates to the field? I don't know, man, because I don't even know what I I don't even know what like if there are any avenues or anything I could do, man. Because for me. These past couple of days, I'm not even thinking about I want to get my job back. I don't want to go look out for another job because that means I got to start again from scratch and I work my ass off at the one place. So I want to get my job back, you know? Like, if you lost your job right now, you're trying to get your job back. You're not trying to go to a new place to start all over again. Unless you hate the job, but I love what I do. I like the place. I want my 
job back. And if I can't get that, well then, okay. you know, like to get from one transitional place to another, that seems like that that's that's like a lot of work, man. That uh, that's a lot of work. So what do I what do I what do I do in that case then? Listen, in life there's things that you cannot get, some things that you cannot get. Like your job. <laughs> like I mean <laughs> I love my job, but say if I lost my job, I would not be able to get my job back because there's always a reason why I lost it. You know what I mean? Of course, of course. I'm not saying if I got laid off. That's a whole different story, but if I lost my job, there's obviously I did something wrong, so I can't come back to the front step, front door of course, steps of, of, of the building and be like, hey, please, sir, go to the manager and be like, I want my job back. No, I cannot do that. You have to accept that. Of course. Accept it. So wake up every day and tell yourself that alcohol isn't the way, or smoking even, it's not the way to go. What now, what you need to do now, are you okay? I'm good man, I'm good, sorry man. Just yeah. recovering from all those days of drinking, you know. Yeah. My boyfriend, you know, he's been taking care of me, he told me not to drink, you yeah. know, for a night, just to have things going, so. Yeah. He's been, you know, I know he's been trying his best, and God bless his soul, he tries his best, you know, and right now I think we're, we're making a little bit of progress, and he said you know what you're doing, and it seems like you know what you're doing, so I okay, figured. Well, I do not think you know what you're doing. First of all, put that to the side. All right, sir. Yes, you stay so, my friend. This has no nicotine anyways, but you Just want. put it to the side because it's something you're relying on right now. Am I wrong or right? No, no, no. I think, okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm here offering support. So I, what I want you to do is tell me what is preventing you from not getting support right now. You, do you feel nice when you drink or do you just go into more thoughts, deep thoughts and about well, what happened. I find that when I drink and I smoke, I just get into my own world. I don't think about the problems. I don't think about anything that happens and I'm just... My but imagine you found a job. You won't have all this stress. Oh, you're right. I wouldn't, but right? I mean... You no, know, like, how do you tell your family right now that you don't have a job and you lost it when... I think I think your family would be there to support you just because they're not your girlfriend. They're not gonna be like, oh, okay, you don't have money, we're gone. Think of it from that perspective. I uh, know. We are. Right. We have been married for a while. You guys are family. Your house isn't gonna leave in two to three days of not paying bills. There will be some interest, but what would you rather do? Pay interest or get yourself another job? I'd rather get another job so I don't have to pay interest anymore either. Right. Right. So, what you have to do right now, Brian, my friend, is all right, Craig Jeff, is uh, go go home. Think about what I spoke to you about today and come in tomorrow. You know what, don't come with Finn, come come all by yourself because I, I, I think you're kind of sort of interested in what I'm saying. Well, I've I mean, got a conversation wrong, with you. you, know? with you. Yeah. Like I said, I want Finn to be, make sure at least you know you ain't no Cracker Jack and so far it seems like you ain't no Cracker Jack so I think he's probably still outside on that phone call or whatever and I'll let him know that I'm going to come tomorrow you know, and I'll just tell him to drop me off here, you don't have to be here and then I'll give him a I'll give him a link later on. He can, yep. you know, we'll chill after and let him know what happened. Of course. So okay, we'll meet so up tomorrow and then. Let me let me yeah. book you a time. Um, how about right about the same time tomorrow? Two yeah, p.m. Yeah, that's cool. Two p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. We'll come. So we'll try to work out a plan if we can. Yeah, we'll work out a plan. Come in. You know, I I, I like the way we're going right now. Uh, I'm here to help. I'm here to offer support. Uh, tomorrow we'll talk more about what you can do to resolve it resolve the situation. Like I said, right buddy. now, right now, go home. I don't want you to drink. I don't want you to smoke. I want you to sit down in a room alone and think about your actions that you've been taking so far and if they would be better uh, compared to finding a job. How about that? Okay. All right? All right. See if finding a job would be better or if abusing substances would be better. All right? Okay. All right, Brian. Alright, nice talking to you. Jack. You too. Uh, take care. You too. Bye, Cracker Jack. Yeah. Don't forget that. No, I don't. Don't forget to put that aside tonight. Yep. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, Brian? How's it going, Cracker Jack? Have Hope you don't mind that I call you that, you know? Have Just a had a nice ring to it, but yeah. It's okay, man. Have a seat. So, did you uh, do what I told you to do? No, I gave it some thought, and the thing is, is that 
I don't know exactly what I'm going to do because that's really too hard for me right now because I know I've been going off the path a little bit doing something that I would normally never do but I just don't know what to do right now, right? So I gave it some thought and I figured, you know, I'll come back here and hopefully you can give me some directional steps because right now I know I'm in a, in a lost place right now and the last thing I want to do is feel like I have no place to go and just, you know, bang, and you're right there. So I want to try to have a life, not be just, you know, being out college living on the streets and stuff. I need to keep my kids, my mortgage. I love what I do. I love my house. So, yeah, I hear yeah. you, man. Well, first of all, what you need to stop doing is drinking and smoking. And uh, get your act together for your family, your kids. Try to tell your family what's going on. I'm sure they'll understand. I hope so. I yeah, hope they so. will. Um, just talk to them and know what's going on. Get the drugs out of the scene and try to get yourself a job. Because yeah. what would you rather have, a job or a life where you abuse substances? Just because you can't find a job. I'd rather have a job, you know. Right? So, what I'm saying is, is that you should try to get yourself to find a job and, uh, you know, go from there. Yeah, you're not going to get a job, you're yeah. not going to get a job right away, but you got to keep on trying. Because yeah. obviously at the end of the day you need to support your family and most importantly your children. See, that's what I thought too, right? I want to keep doing what I love to do, so... You know what? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. We'll see how that goes. You know, I'll try to look for, look for a job, at least in music, in the music field. So even if I don't get something with DJing for now, at least something to get my foot in there, I guess. Oh. Okay, so I guess, uh, you know, I'll, try, I'll figure that out and uh, I'll start looking and stuff and then, yeah, you know... start looking, see, see how that goes for you. If anything, I'm always here to help you out even more. Yeah. Um, okay. Just just quit the drinking, the smoking, uh, and talk to your family about it because obviously they will find out. You're right. Right. And uh, it's better to talk about it than anything else, right? You'll feel much better once you find a job because you won't be abusing substances. You'll actually be getting somewhere in life. What happens if I don't find something? Then? I'm pretty sure there's something out there for you. There's something out there for everybody. And if I don't find something, then what? Then you come back to me. And then we'll figure out another plan, I guess, and another... Figure uh, out, we'll figure out, we'll go with the uh, plan B. Okay, we'll figure out another avenue, I guess. You're right, so... Uh, but it's worth a try. try. I see what you're saying, you know, just try it out. And don't do the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. is exceptional, but... The Monday, the Thursday drinking gets bad, so stop that. And, uh, you know, get out there. Stop being trapped in the house. That's and, what you're uh, saying. Find yourself a job, man. Um, That's what you're saying. Um, that is you're, you're, you're a smart, good looking Yeah, job. definitely, I man. I know I'm smart, man. You I know that. You a job, just I try to look yeah. for a job. Man. You're right, you're right. Yeah. You seem like a pretty smart guy, too, you know? Yeah. That wasn't what I thought at first, but you seem to know a little bit about what you're doing, so I'll give Thank it a you. shot, see how it goes. You know, I love what I do, just like you love what you do, so yeah, let's get back out there and see, see, see. Alright, well you, you know what, I'm going to go try to find something, yeah. I'm going to go look out for something. I'm going to call Finn and you know, get him to help me out as well too, because you know, that's what we do, we help each other out. And we'll go from there, and if it doesn't work out, I'll call you back and we'll come up with another plan, you know. Because yeah, you know, at least I know that these are other options and it doesn't seem like, you know, <laughs> that's the end. <laughs> yeah man, you got it. Alright Mr. Lacey, All right, man. have a good one Mr. Yeah, Lacey. You too. Thank you very much. No and Hope I don't have to see you again in a in a good and you know in a good yeah, way. Yeah. But if I do have to see you again, well, hopefully all is not lost. All right, take care, Brian. You're welcome. Have a great one. Yeah. Hey, Finn, how's it going? Hey. How's it going, Brian? Hey, yeah. Brian. Brian. <laughs> Let's go, man. Come on, man. Brian. I finally lost all the laughter. Oh. Hey, Finn, you're back, man. Hey, Finn, you're back, partner. <laughs> you're back. No, you're back. No, you're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. Yeah, I was good, actually. You killed it. Hey, Finn, how's it going? Um. <laughs> 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 Ray! 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 Ray!
man, for sure, bro. Hey, Ray, that didn't even... No, but hear me out. All I'm gonna tell you right now is that, um, when I say 3-2-1 for him, yeah. as soon as he starts...